Today I'm reviewing Vividi.com, an online website builder. This is a template provided with my logo, of course. If you'd like to change your theme, here they appear. Drag it down, more will display over time. So you would like this. Some have one layout option, some have multiple layout. Watch out for that if that's important. Click install, and there it is, a new theme. Your logo, which mine is an image, remains the same. I've returned to the original theme I had. Looking at the sections of a page, keep in mind I built this website, it's a single page within 30 minutes today, and I've never used Vividi before. It's really easy to use. Look at the workspace, not a lot of buttons but there are a lot of options once you dig in to those different sections. You have a logo, header, content block, sidebar, menu, but just because I have them here doesn't mean your website is going to appear like that as well. Wherever these boxes show up you can add pretty much any type of content and in fact you can add multiple sections for example of uh, text blocks. You can also format the text blocks in a number of ways with different columns and uh, combinations of images. Here's your visual editor within which you can also upload media such as uh, video and images. You have a lot of options in terms of creating a uh, high media, uh, lot of content website. I'll just close out of that. I don't want to save those. you're going to create most of your website content through what this what Vividi calls components and that's through this button 37 components display perhaps I'll add more here's where you would add a text block and I'll show you that because I like this feature you can add a text block that'll appear on every page see that or just on this page and you choose and look at all the different areas you can add text blocks and you can keep adding text blocks we'll X out of that now back to the components you can add custom HTML to any part of the site images blog posts you can display on any particular page or every page PayPal uh, payment buttons forms for example contact form YouTube video, RSS feeds, Google Docs, video player, embed flash if you have a, a flash animation you like to place on your website there you can use that component and place it wherever you like Google Maps, Flickr, display music, navigation I like this option. You can create custom navigation menus pretty much anywhere in your site and they do not have to be the same as the one along the top horizontal menu uh, bar there. You can add it that shows up on every page or just a single page and you can add links to different pages and each menu can have links to two different pages Those, so they don't all have to be the same and that's important especially if you build a big site and you have different sections and you want to create customized navigation. We'll X out of that. Back to the components after navigation social media such as Twitter and Facebook integration, audio player, page counter, online scheduler, social bookmarking options with Reddit, Dig, blog roll, eBay listings, display events through upcoming.org component, friend feed, delicious part of the social bookmarking, more blog options, friend list, and an Xbox gamer option. Those are the components with which you build your website. Now, the blog. The blog is managed separately and it's through here. This is where you write new posts. It's very simple, very similar to any other type of blogging software. You can set your settings, which you can display just summarized or excerpts. You can explain or uh, control how they display in what order. You have categories and so forth.
Blogging is nice because you can create a lot of content and just add it to the blog and have it appear in chronological order uh, rather than create separate pages for which you need to build menu links to throughout the site. That sums up my review of Avidi. Thanks for watching.